Hey folks, welcome to the Do-It-Yourself Dad channel. Today we're back in the backyard and we're back with our pool. Now we've had a lot of videos on pools, how to get algae out of the pools, how to clean the pools, if you should buy an above ground pool. Um, so you can check all those out, I'm gonna have linked down below. But today we're talking about pool cleaning. Now years ago, this little guy was on the channel. He's our little pool vacuum, we call him Wanda because he looks like a whale. He's awesome, but he has a problem. He gets stuck on leaves. They tend to get clogged up. We're gonna try something new. I've got robot vacuums all over the inside of the house. I don't have one in the pool and we got one. So let me show you what we got. We're gonna throw it in the pool and see how well it works. Maybe this is a good solution for you. I'd imagine it's a great solution if you got a pool with a pump that can't do a pool sweep. Getting stuff off the bottom is a real drag. This thing might solve a problem for you. Let's check it out. Now with all my videos, I usually show you how to set something up and this one, it's gonna be pretty quick and easy. Now, it comes with this little handle. This little handle slips in right there on both sides. You tip it back and it comes with two little screws just to seat the handle in place. So we're gonna run those screws in, you tip it back and then you flip it the other way, turn it around and you put in the other screw. Now, you would think this is gonna be a pain because this is gonna be at the bottom of your pool and you're gonna have to get your hand down there, but it even came with a little hook and this thing slips right into the end of your pool pole. So you kind of loop it in there. You can pick it right up off the bottom of your pool and get it out. Now charging it, there's a charging port right here on the bottom. You can see the two little prongs and you just plug that thing in and you charge it. Now you obviously don't charge it in the water. You take this out and charge it when it's dry. Now opening it up, to clean it, all these clips come off and the whole top pops up and you get your screen right there. This is where all the debris will catch. It sucks everything up to the bottom through these little ports and the whole thing comes apart for easy cleaning. So another thing that comes with are these little scrapers and they say put these in, it helps increase the suction and I'd imagine also because it's a little rubber guy, this will also help scrape some of the algae and gunk off the bottom of your pool. But since it's rubber, if you have a vinyl pool like we do, you don't have to worry about it damaging anything. So with those, let's put this whole thing back together and let's chuck it in the water. All right, so we've got our pool pole. We put the little grabber hook on there. What we're gonna do first is take this guy and put them in the water and we're supposed to submerge them, let them fill up with water. And then once all the bubbles are out of them, I hit that little button on the bottom side, which turns them on. And I'm just gonna let it go, see if it floats straight down. It should, I hope. Yeah, floated straight down and it's already off and running. Let's get a camera in the water. We can see how it's doing. Now this thing is really moving. It scoot pretty quick around the pool. All right, so now we're gonna fish it out of the pool and I wanna show you something pretty neat. Now it's still running and the pump's still going but when I get this thing unhooked here, watch what happens when I remove it from the water. It shuts itself off. And it shuts itself off because on the underside here, that same port that's the charging port, there's those two little, little metal pieces right there. Those are also used as sensors. So it knows when it's come up out of the water because it doesn't have continuity between those, it shuts itself down so you can't pull it out of the water and accidentally burn the motor out. So it beeps to remind you to turn it off. I don't know if you can hear the beeping. So we did that. Now let's show you what it got. Wow. So that's what's on the screen. Let me show you here what's in the, the body. It's already picked up a bunch of, of course I'm dumping it back in my pool there, which defeats the purpose, but it's already got a ton of leaves that it's pulled up. And uh, these are pretty big leaves, ones that might've actually gotten the other one stuck. So let's flip the little wheels around now and uh, we'll try it in that other setting. 
Now, two of the wheels on here are adjustable. You can actually turn them, so it'll do different things, and it controls when it rebounds how much of a turn it makes when it rebounds. So we're gonna put it into, uh, let's see, we'll put it into the C setting. So the C setting should make it rebound and turn a little bit when it takes off. So let's get that all set. Now, the way you do that, there's a little release here. You pull the little release tab in. You wanna support the wheel, turn it, snaps right in place, super easy. So let's put this thing back together, put it back in the water, let it have another around the pool before it gets dark. Same as before, put her in there, get her submerged, get all the air out. All the air is out, now we're gonna hit that power button. It does a little bit of a countdown, so it doesn't immediately take off. You hit the power button and then just hold it level and drop it and it'll float straight down and in a little bit, it'll turn itself on. So it should turn on just a sec. Let's see what it does. One thing that really blows me away is the speed that this thing moves at. It really cooks along pretty quick and it's been picking up pretty large debris. A bigger debris than that one has been able to suck up. That thing's done an uh, excellent job and I got a whole video all about that one linked down below. But this one actually, I think has been doing a slightly better job picking up larger bits of debris and continuing to run. That thing seems to clog up and just not run. This thing was picking up pretty big leaves. You can see the leaves that I'm getting in here are, you know, these ones over here and these ones over here. Most of these are coming here from my citrus trees. Occasionally I get stuff from the front, which would be a little bit larger trees in here. So now let's jump in the water and see how it's actually functioning in the pool. Now you see the little handle on top, that thing serves two purposes. It's the handle, but watch what happens when it hits the side of the pool. The handle gets nudged up and that's what starts the change. You'll see now the little jet on the back open up and it starts pushing it across the bottom of the pool. That jet is actually how it propels itself. It's not pushed by the wheels. Now, something else to note here is that you're gonna need a pool with a pretty flat bottom and vertical sides for it to hit and actually change direction. So a, a contoured bottom pool isn't gonna work. Another thing I noticed was leaves about the size of my citrus tree leaves got pulled up just fine. But larger leaves like off of my maple tree from the front yard that blew in, those are about the size of your hand. Those did clog up the jet. So this is good for small to medium sized leaves, but it's gonna have a problem with the larger leaves getting clogged up. Now you can see how fast it's moving around the pool and it's still running around in there. Let's see it right there. And it'll run for about an hour on a charge and then you fish it out of the pool, clean it out and recharge it. This is a really cool option for if you've got a pool that either doesn't have the option for a sweep, it's just a vacuum, or if you've got maybe one of those little kitty Intex pools or something like that, where you really don't have an option for anything because the pumps aren't powerful enough. So I have a link down in the description below if you wanna check these things out. And I should have a promo code down there too, which might save you a few bucks. So check that out as well. Um, but anyway, Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you keep your backyard pool a little bit cleaner and uh, get it ready for the summer. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. I got a lot more pool and house and DIY and all sorts of stuff coming your way. Leave me a comment. Let me know if there's any things you like to see on the channel. We're always here to help you out. Thanks for watching. They really don't seem to like each other, do they? Maybe I should turn the other one. They can have a fight.